the first episode. No, you know, I, I don't, the phone uh, must be in my brain the, there's bag. A, there's a tradition in our family no to way. throw a brand oh, new phone. Yes, I saw that. That's fire. very funny. <laughs> and your dad. I'm gonna turn that off. It's very dramatic. I am traumatized. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> And then, and then David also likes to ask me, do you want me to burn all that money? And I'm saying, yes. <laughs> and he throws the money into the fire. <laughs> oh my God. And I remember there was another incident. <laughs> Shall I tell you? I remember we were at the airport. We just had such a violent relationship. <laughs> and then violent in the sense, emotionally uh, challenged. So we at the airport. And he and he says, uh, "Do you want this money?" And I said, "No." And he says, "Okay, so I'm gonna throw it." So he throws <laughs> the money, but he throws <laughs> it in the wrong directions, <laughs> and ends up on the different floor. And then he finds out that he has to climb down to get fifty euro back. Well, uh, you're a, you're a great storyteller, so you are. Okay. So thank why you. did you throw the money? What was it? I have no idea. It, it was what challenging it. me, challenging me. Jack, and just start this fucking. Thank you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, and that's why we're not together podcast, starring David McSavage and Hannah Andrews, and, and the guest, a, and the special guest, Aideen McQueen. And also uh, my two young princes, uh, Jack and Daniel. Thank you very much. Okay, um, so yes, uh, you two are just clucking away like conspiring ostriches. <laughs> this will be like the this limerick is... again. What's that? <laughs> limerick was really enjoyable for me because... Oh, oh, limerick, can I just say that we did, me and Aideen did a gig in UCH or University College something. Uh, don't didn't like the venue. Uh, the people, it was a bit funereal in terms of the welcome that I got. Um, yeah, and I paid a lot of money. I, I think I paid five or six grand to rent that venue. Not serious. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of money. U University, UCL. And um, yeah, n not a nice, the whole experience w wasn't great. Uh, so, I, you know I what I mean? Maybe you should delete it. If or, or you ever want to play No, no, it. fuck that. Okay. No, listen, okay. ultimately, ultimately... Burn another bridge. Well, <laughs> it, well ultimately, look, um, you know, w hopefully at some point you get into the position where you can sell loads of tickets. And uh, I think feelings are put to one side if they see that somebody can sell loads of tickets. Like if I could sell 10 nights out in UCL, mm -hmm. you know... Uh, they'd have me back even if I did criticize them. They'd be coming to, to me on their knees saying, look, we're really sorry. But at my level, like they horse. kind of, uh, uh, they call the shots a little bit. But on the other hand, fuck, fuck artistically, you know, they weren't that friendly. Oh, you're I mean, right, they, actually. They, they, they didn't they, have any food for us or anything like that. We well, I don't know about food for us, but, 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 but the, the guys running the thing on the sand, they're fine. But the actual organizers themselves, they weren't, they, one of them, showed up for a second then fucked off and so i'm sorry ucl Maybe uh, they you know weren't laughing so that's why they you know three out of ten uh for <laughs> whatever and and hannah's just suggests that maybe they weren't laughing meaning that uh they didn't find my type of comedy funny well here's the thing you're a fucking booker we're not looking to you <laughs> for artistic uh critique you know if i'm running a venue or a comedy club I'm going to book, if somebody's funny and they have a bit of an audience, I'm going to book them. I'm not going to let my ego get in the way. Exactly. It's, well, no, you just you just disagreed with yourself, Anna. This they is what I left, do for... They just left, but they, they like, you know, they booked you anyway. They don't need to like you, as you don't need to like them. <laughs> it's deep. It's true. You're just like, um, you know, uh, relatives who don't like each other, but they have to uh, cooperate be in the same room during Christmas. I don't know what, what you're <laughs> talking about. And not kill each other. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 I know. What are you saying? I'm just saying. Well, let, let's talk about you as a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Me a catfish? Yeah, yeah, you're a catfish. She went, Hannah went off. Well, here's the big news. Breaking news. Hannah went off to Madrid with her. Is, is it your boyfriend? Is it, uh, was your boyfriend. But she, you, you told him you were a certain age and then he checked your passport because you were getting onto a ferry or something and he realized you were oh, older I've done than that. I was <laughs> you, you were older than you, you, and you and I was only four and, years older and, 
but you know, listen, yeah, but guy, you said you saw his reaction yeah, he to got, the lie, and he he he, he collapsed. Went so bright red that I thought I was going to call the ambulance <gasps> because it was so uh, like as if I I don't know kill his mother. Yeah. So, but why you did it because. You feel younger, or he was younger, or you just thought, oh, this no. isn't going anywhere. I'm no, just, just d- this is just something written on my passport. Which it's not true. You're trans four years younger than you actually are. Like yeah. you're, you're, you've got the 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 brain of somebody who's whatever age you are, but you've got the body of somebody who's another age, and people should recognize you for that. Of course. Oh, as are you trying to compare, uh, like yeah. transitioning? Yeah, like it's I'm trans, not, it's trans hot. Trans, trans, I don't know if you know this, what's but that? I'm trans hot. So it's really serious. But you're on your way to being hot. I've got, no, I've got the brain of a hot woman. Yeah. The body of a normal woman. But I yeah. want everyone to treat me like really hot. So listen to my boring stories and buy me drinks. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I'll do, I will like, I put on false eyelashes. I dye my hair. I've got the tan. I, I chew all the trappings of a hot woman. But am I hot in the inside? Yes. Yes, I, I just want to let everybody know uh, <laughs> that Aideen is a comedian. <laughs> Wow, that was so mean. <laughs> but I've known Aideen. How long have we known each other, Aideen? I would say a good 10 years now, at least. Is it 10 years? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Would be. But that's right. So Hannah is basically saying that she um, identifies as somebody. That's, that's the young, word I wanted. Uh, is somebody that's, yeah. that's young. But I do like that. I, was, in, I, 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 uh, can I just say it? There, no, was, I, there was an actress me, in Poland yeah, okay, go on. who said, that a certain age, a woman has to decide about her age. At a, at a certain stage, a woman has to decide at her age and stick to it mm. forever. Yeah. Ah. So it's all psychological. You tell your body what age you want to be and you exhume it, you know, and everybody buys it. And exhume, I know. exhume means dig up something that's dead, by the way. Okay. No, so but it, it exude it. Sorry, exude I, I, it. Okay, I was being yeah. very twittery, like uh, oh, good, mm, exude, good. exude. No, no, you're no, dead right. Because she's so, so another, young, she doesn't know that many so, words. So, in other words, uh, oh. that that um, y- you say to your so your body, it sort of bakes into the DNA of your body. If you constantly say you're 42, then your body gets the message. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And if you tell yourself you're 60, you'll be 60. If you tell yourself that you're very old, you'll be very old. I think there's something there. I mean, my dad was born at the age of 42, and he loved being old. And when I think about my dad when we were young, he would have been in his 40s, but he acted so old. He only listened to really old music. He what's this now the phone you know it was as if he was on a competition to have the shortest phone call in Ireland every time he was on the phone and he but he never drank he never smoked he walked six miles a day and you'd think he'd be fit as a fiddle but at 78 no he's not because the, the mind the mind was always 78 hmm. see so he, he 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 was very fit and active but do you think he's slowed down well do you think it, it, it could be to do with the DNA so some people just have good genes it could be to do with DNA, but he's done everything he can. He never smoked. He never drank. Pioneer yeah. for I life. I think his attitude as well. His attitude was old fashioned. Your inner child. He was no crack at all, yeah. that fella. Like yeah. his inner child is Eamon de Valera. You know that vibe. <laughs> That's the way he is. Eamon de Valera went to Blackrock College, the school that <laughs> I went to. Blackrock College, of course, all these allegations of uh, clerical sex abuse. Just thought I'd remind people, if you are thinking about sending your kids to Blackrock College, Maybe think May twice. I saw something. Yes. And Eamon de Valera also sold Ireland to the church. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, yeah. oh, how twisted it is. Yeah. And then he went to Black Rock when the priests abused the children. Oh, that's freaky. Um, but although, having said that, I did have a good time in Black Rock College. I enjoyed my time in that school. I, I had one or two good friends. And, you know, yeah. So I, 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 I did have a good time, but unfortunately... Because you were the only one who abused the priest. <laughs> That's the old joke. Thanks, Anna. I know. So, um, With Blackwell College, the, the people who went there, I, I read the list out to somebody in England. They were like, I'm sending my son there. It's incredible the amount of people that went there, of you know, sports players, artists. Such oh, yeah, of note. Well, w- yeah, but the only thing is that there's, there's, there's a sort of... Um, it's like the, the Eton of Ireland. Yeah, but the, but there's something there's something there's some major deficiency or something majorly defective about bl- there's a sort of myopic vision of the world. They want they they just they, is everything okay with that sound? Yes. Okay, sorry. Is it recording? Yes. 
there's there's something you about saw? how they prepare these young boys to for man, man manhood. It's it's all about business and so you know yeah, there's something there's something slightly deficient. Well, you there, there, there's a there's a lack of um, I don't know. There's something wrong with that place. I mean, I there's something you... not quite right about it. Vibrates at a strange frequency. <laughs> People like me were not welcome. They hated me, and I didn't hate them though. I I like them. I mean, there is something strange. I mean, you're not going to send your child to a twenty thousand pound a year school, and then they are going to have a normal job or even have access. Because I, my ex, went to really posh school, and I said, like, was anyone in England, anyone near school? Did anyone do an apprenticeship? Did anyone become an electrician? Right. And he thought about it and he said, yes, one one chap did. He became a carpenter. I said, where's he now? Oh, he's he's the, he's David Cameron's carpenter. You know, so the connections were still yeah, there. Yeah. You know, he yeah. probably owned a carpentry business. Right. Everything like that. Yeah. So it's different. Yeah. But but uh, it just I'm just thinking of some of those guys in Black Rock, but just really awful types. I mean, yes, they've created wealth. And they have house and bunches of keys and a Range Rover and, uh, you know, ah, <laughs> but they're just <laughs> awful kind of ugh, just just a bit gross, to be quite yeah. honest. And, and um, not that smart. I mean, people get confused by people who are able to create wealth. They think they're smart. I don't think you need to be that smart to I make. Think you have to be a bit I don't smart think so. I see area. I see guys with five or six houses walking around and if they sold them, they'd make millions. But they're as thick. They're just as oh, 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 They're thick. You need some smartness to make money. I'm not sure. I don't. I'm. I'm not Unless sure about that. Unless you inherited it. I'm not sure that you okay. need to be that smart to make money. So, for instance, you need to be uh, dogged and determined and single-minded. Yeah. But I don't well, need. That's, you need. I don't think. That's required some skills as well. Yeah. But what when you were at school, let's say in first year, and there's some lad and he's sticking a pencil up his nose, is he now? partner in Goldman Sachs is there anyone you, you can think of you don't have to say their names that you were like this boy was thick oh yeah and uh, now he's you know he's selling no 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 no, no never no never no there was never like no there was ne anybody who was a bit thick r remained that way <laughs> there was no sort of you know sort of you know and then by the fourth year he suddenly r reached this level of consciousness and no <laughs> they were just the thick ones but were what thick. did they end up doing Oh, you know, I, I, I'm so out of touch with the, the there was a BlackRock College reunion. Yeah, they don't invite um, you back to MC it. No, do they, they? They, this is this. I was at one, you know, t 20 years ago or something. But um, no, not my people, not my tribe. Just just yeah. I, they make me I make them uneasy and they make me fucking uneasy. It's just like this. Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just driving a BMW and I have a house in Mallorca. You'd be mad not to buy a house in Ukraine now. The property <laughs> prices, they're so low. Such a you know, they're idea. like horrible, zero ethical type of people. Interesting. Yes. Well, well I, that's, um, that's I, I just have a little stuff for you uh, about like, you know, success. So you're talking about success. It's 85% um, of people stay within their social class very interesting so yeah it, it really does depend where you go to school because it's not what you learn really it's who you who you know but it's to it's totally true you know. if you we were i was brought up in a middle class house so i have the bar was set at that I level and you know, well whatever it's the level you're at when you're born it's not higher it's just that's what you're used to and so it, it, you you'd you'd feel you and it's sort of baked into what you you are so if you go below that, you do feel like a bit of a failure. I feel like a failure because I don't own my fucking house. OK, I'm 56 and I don't own a fucking house. And I, I walk Ooh. around. Uh. I walk around. You're an economic genius. I walk. I walk no around. With, with, the recession with, is coming. You've done well. I walk around with the impending sense of doom. You know, like I think a lot of people of my age, when you don't own a house, it's just that fear of, you know, st the state having to intervene at some point when you become copious or you can't, not able to look after yourself. Uh, and just a horrible realization of just some mad young nurse from Schleigo, you know, just kicking the shit out of you when the cameras are off. <laughs> All right there now, David. Yeah, yeah. Come on. And you're like, Ooh. that's what you deserve, bro. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Shitting on yourself. Shitting all over myself. Look, if that comes to happen, I'm a bit younger than you, so hopefully I'll be able to bring the 
morphine and we'll oh, put yeah, the pillow. Yeah. Me and Hannah will put the pillow over the yeah, head. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, what's it's your, your birthday soon, isn't it, Dave? It, it is, yeah. What's your, <laughs> what's, your what, what's your, what's your, 5th of February, yeah. yeah I know, because I did all your COVID forms a few years ago. I wrote that date and address out 20 times. What, what's your big fear as you get older? Um, yeah, I've, I fear of aging and being unattractive. Yeah. I'm a very vain person, yeah. So I want to. How old are you now, mother? Don't tell me. You don't have to tell me. Well, I'm trans now that Hannah no. has explained to me what's been wrong with me all my life. So in my mind, I'm 29, but on my birth cert. You don't. I'm, sorry. You, can I just say it's a very rude question? Please don't answer it. Actually, I don't even want, need to know. I, I literally don't want no, to know because that's <laughs> labeling people. Yeah, yeah. And people. I, 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 I say it on stage. I'm 39. I'll be 40 in April. That's still okay, and, That's still, and then yeah. you can stay there. Yeah, forever. I think I'm thinking of staying at 39 because I've got a few good yeah. jokes about it. It's my persona is 39. I'm gonna stay at that. Yeah, so I do. I get a bit of that now. Oh no, I'm aging and like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let that go. It'll be all right. You know? And can we talk about uh, something we have in common? Yes, we can indeed. Our love of the Boomtown Rats. Um, we oh yeah, we can alcoholism. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that. Yeah. Will you start the ball rolling? Don't be just staring at me. Yeah. Are you just, yeah, are you breathing weird? heavily, David? Yeah. What happened to you? <laughs> Do you want to have a few jumps and get your Am I breathing up? heavily? Yeah. That's what a lot. <laughs> because I'm looking at Aideen and I'm like, that's what I'm oh, I'm way too old for you. Maybe your scarf is too tight around your neck. Hannah, because you're stressing me out, the amount of hassle that we, before this, if people don't realize, Hannah sits down. <laughs> I hate the way I look. I look terrible. I look terrible. So it's like three yeah. hours of this. And Constant, like we're all. Anyone there who can help me improve my looks? Anya, please let me just tell you about selling. something. You've had your moment in the sun. You've had your tight skin years. Now it's all downhill. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> and that's why we're not together. Yeah. Um, no, the 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 alcoholism. Um, again, me and Aideen are alcoholics. Yeah. Uh, we have. Thank you. Thank you, Aideen. And you're and not anonymous? No, we're alcoholics out there <laughs> in the world. But, but you, I but you, you've, you, you, you've, uh, you were like, you were a bit more hardcore, I would yeah, say. I, I have hardcore. to say. Yeah, yeah. I like, was. like some of the, some of the, like you would drink. You said, um, uh, what, what did you drink? That, that stuff. To Listerine. Mouth, Listerine. Yeah. So you I, would knock back a bottle of I that stuff. I would knock back a bottle of Listerine. You're right. Good memory. I suppose it is quite memorable. Yeah. So would there be enough booze and alcohol? Listerine. There is, and it's a different kind of drunk you get because it's not really digestible by the human stomach, but you get a kind of a dizzy drunk. So I got. I thought I was so. I still so wanted to keep drinking. But I, and I couldn't stop. And then it would get to the morning time where I'd, the off license would be closed. I have no alcohol. And you, I started on the Listerine. And then you go down to the shop, you get two bottles of Listerine. You can just about stomach one. It's the mouth, still the smell of what mouthwash is triggering for me. You see, now this is, it, I, I think people now, they probably do, do, do you joking, understand? No, but do you, I hope yeah. you now. keep you skinny? Drinking oh. <laughs> It does. I hope well, people get, can. I hope people ulcer, now, though, so can. Does, yeah. I, I hope people now can understand what alcoholism is. That that craving, the craving, it's like so like it's strong. it's it's like an invisible arm with a hand out coming out of your back. You just just needing to. to yeah, it's to, exactly to, like that. It's, it's like a, a, a tree pops out and it wants to take your root and branch back into it. And I the glycerin, and then I'd be going around half cut or fully cut, and then people would be like, "She's acting drunk, but her breath smells fantastic." <laughs> So they didn't really see, or so I thought. Yeah. And I did it at work a few times, and <coughs> it was it was bad. Yeah. And then again, your stomach is ruined by it. Then I mean, I remember my parents locking me up in a room, and I couldn't get any alcohol. And I went to the bathroom. I drank a bottle of Hugo Boss. That's an expensive shot. <laughs> it's sixty quid. Um, I drank. Doesn't make you sick. Oh though. yeah, it does. <laughs> I drank hairspray. I and I passed out and. I did a lot of very dangerous things. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm share this now because you never know who it might help. Um. Yeah. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder when people say that, like, is there someone out there who would be listening to you saying, I try to drink a bottle of hairspray or whatever and thinking like, does it help? Well, 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 I guess I guess it just tells maybe people. just give an idea. Just no, but I, an idea. no, 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 it doesn't. I think don't, it I think don't. it shows people that, you know, do you know what it does? It at least puts the question, you know, are you sure you can't just have a drink? Yeah, it to, does. That ends that mm, question. Because people, because people don't understand. People who, and I've said this so many fucking times, people who don't have a problem with drink, who 
who are very chilled out and they can just have a drink, they cannot get their hands heads around the fact that you and I cannot just have a mm-hmm. fucking drink. And they look at me and think, oh, she looks like an aging ballet instructor. Surely she doesn't have a drinking mm-hmm. problem. And then I have to say, and they're like, but you not have one? And, you know, and mm. then I have to, um, sometimes I end up telling people a horrific story and I ruin a party, yeah. but at least they leave me alone. Well, it's or funny. sometimes uh, I do this, this is really bad. I'll just kind of push my stomach out and just go, oh, I'm all right. <laughs> and just imply that I'm at that stage of pregnancy, you know, maybe three months yeah, yeah. where I can't say yet. And they're like, oh. You and know? have you been pregnant? Um, <laughs> past, <laughs> pa- a and, hard pass. And come here. How many abortions? Are- Sorry, oh, oh, fuck oh, that. Oh. Stop it, d- 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 please. We'll abort that d- bit out of the show. No, but but the thing is, it's funny. That's the only socially acceptable kind of answer that you can give. You know, uh, well, go have a drink, have a drink. No, I'm a fucking alcoholic and I almost killed myself. Yeah. Ah, fair enough then. Yeah. Or I'm pregnant or something. You know? It's exactly it. Because like, I don't drive, so I can't. I can't be the designated coat holder or something. Yeah, it is. But the thing is, As let's let's older, be honest. Leave you alone more. Didn't we have a great time though uh, on on uh, alcohol? Yeah. They, yeah. they were the, they were the best of times. They were I the mean, best you, of you know, you don't you rem- remember half of them. Well, I'm just saying that you know. So uh, how how can you even talk about what it? what I'm just saying is um, maybe a feature of you know let's say that the. the you know, how are you? I'm okay. So the line, there's a line there, okay. And below that line, you're not okay. And above that line, you're fucking, you're like, hey, hey, damn. Yeah. <laughs> right. But maybe I think as alcoholics, that are you always slightly anxious, slightly worried? You know, you're be, and, and alcohol just, just smooths everything over. It's just, you just feel oh, that sense of well being. for the soul. It's for your, fantastic. It's, it, it is. Yeah. I remember, I, I just want to just quickly just say, I hadn't been, I'd given up drinking in 2003. I think it was 2014. I went to the Camden Court Hotel and I ordered a double vodka and coke. <laughs> what went through your mind before you did that? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd been heartbroken for the past fucking year. Sorry, I just want to, I want to get back to what I just said. I just, I just remembered a story. I was so fucked and, and I'm sure you've been heartbroken and probably heartbroken. And I hope my boys never get to the extent of the heartbreak. Um, well, you, it's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. But I was so fucked. I was so heartbroken. Like, like really, like, so uncomfortable. Like, like, what, I'm trying to think what it was like. But it was like, it was like a constant, you know, like, like, uh, this is, you know. It, you it was, can't fit into your own body. It, it was crazy how yeah. painful it was. And I saw two cops walking by. Uh, and I almost, I almost felt like, I wish they could see the pain I was in. Oh. You know, if you could, if you could go, Guards, look at this. Guardy, look, look at this. And then you open up, look, and you show them your heart. Look, you go like this. Look at this. And then the guards go, Jesus Christ. Paddy, come here. Look at his heart. Have you ever seen anything more broken in your life? Come here. Who did that to you? <laughs> she did. And then they go and arrest her and, and hold her in prison until she goes back. Oh, no. The guards probably don't like you that much at all. After you've lampooned them so publicly. Lampooned them. <laughs> <laughs> no, this sounds like a hello RTE and Shahigiv. Now we're joined by a comrade one, and she likes to lampoon. <laughs> lampoon. It's a good word, lampoon. Thank you. Thank okay, you. so you made up a word by the way there, and me and Hannah let it slide. But if we had done it, oh my god. So 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 uh, sorry to get back to the point. What was the point that I did before that? I did twenty fourteen. You went. Oh yes. So you what was the thoughts that went through your head? You oh well, well, listen. Broke. I'd been in such pain for so long, and I thought, fuck. That. Oh yes, and I wanted, and 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 uh, I I wanted to get together with this woman, right? But um, that had broken your heart. No, no. Th- th- I, w- I wanted to get over this woman by getting with another woman, mm-hmm. and uh, I needed to break out. And and I was, you know, and also I'd been going to AA every day for a year, mm-hmm. so you know, hadn't drank since two thousand three. Going to <gasps> AA every day, every day for a year. Then fuck this. So tired for of like the AA 10 meetings. Years? No, I hadn't drank since two thousand and three. <laughs> yeah. And so this is two thousand and fourteen. Right. So it's this like is eleven nine, years. No, eleven years. Whatever. Have you been going every day for eleven years? No, for one fucking year. Oh. I'd been going to fucking AA for one fucking year. Right. Two thousand. Uh, Language, I, uh, Timothy. Sorry, apologies. <laughs> and I didn't go to. And and, and, and another thing, but I was trying Beep. to. I was trying to twelve step my way out of heartbreak. I wasn't really going. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Look, the point is, mm. I went to Camden Court Hotel, mm. and 
double vodka and coke hadn't drank in 10 11 years or whatever and uh you know the the the, the glass comes coca-cola vodka in it the glistening um ice you know what i mean just the like drink. that like like that tall glass <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> oh, and that feeling like just the heat just just it just it was it was literally like uh, jesus christ put his hand through the fabric of space and time and just just <laughs> pours himself down your throat and all is well and quiet on the western front it was just uh, it was unbelievable it, it was um what's the word um yeah a religious experience i would say i mean it was incredible and that sense of well-being but it only and then you're chasing that for yeah, the and then and then it's it. and then it's slowly slowly downhill and uh, as declan rooney says you know you you you're not you don't go to the toilet anymore it's like fucking emptying a barrel into the fucking toilet like, you know. <laughs> anyway but anyway so okay no it's, it's exactly like and that what yeah. happened next uh d you drank this and did you go with that woman yeah to I get over the other woman yeah and it does help i mean yeah, but it, but yeah, it was yeah. after a year anyway have you guys seen that movie uh another round oh the danish film yeah yeah so, so what's the premise well, uh, these guys, uh, they, um, they... Teachers. Teachers, yeah. These teachers, group of teachers, decide th to drink every day, all day, to make sure their alcohol level is 0 0.5. So they're not completely drunk. They're just... They're sort of on the level, yeah. What, what, what is 0 0.5? Is it, would it be just a, a, a little bit tipsy? Not, yeah, just not like floating, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. yeah. Can you still drive and all of that? Uh, well, they were using breathalyzers in the film to monitor their levels. Oh, I like, see. Yeah, and 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 go on. They were they were treating it like an experiment, saying if you you'd be more creative and more. Uh, because apparently exciting. there was uh, this philosopher who came up with this idea that if you uh, you know like have a little bit. Uh, but it's just artificial it's stim stimulant. You. Yeah. Uh, you get yourself to a different level. Uh, of okay, can I just say it's absolutely not true? No, I used to chase that. I thought because I used to be really jealous of stoners because it's acceptable when you're a stoner to wake and bake. But so then I used to just wake, wake and bake and means wake, wake and, and just immediately smoke. Yeah, and just be low key stoned all the day. So I thought if I could do that with vodka, if I could, I don't know, wake and shake or. I don't know, rise and I You'll think be of shaking, funny. Yeah. Yeah, 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 rise and shine. <laughs> yeah, and rise and wine. Rise and um, wine. So I was just so then I would just I start. That's when I just broke the seal of drinking in the daytime, and then I would be drinking. I'd be constantly drunk, you know, constantly drunk all the time. But it's not the same as smoking weed. I don't know because I never did that wake and bake thing. But I wished it. W I was so jealous, and I thought it was bitter that I couldn't do it. And then I just started to do it. I, but really I think I the problem. I think the though. problem with it, with it though is the addiction nature that you want to do more and more. Because exactly. Because yeah. a lot of people, I think, they can just have a beer yeah. like in the middle of the day. I mean, like the most like Winston Churchill. You know, he was drinking champagne all day, and he's one of the most uh, productive people. Productive people <laughs> yeah. ever. You know, or but he he had books. he had he had some different type of constitution. He had a different way of. He was a man, though. You know, he was a man. He was a man. Yeah. So there's a certain <laughs> amount of people, and all those people they did perform better, and they did at, at the beginning, yeah. they did find this relaxation, and they taken an edge of their behavior. Mm -hmm. But it's always short lived. My cousin, um, the first cousin I once moved was a TD. And uh, he was a real pint man. He drank an awful lot. But he did an awful lot. Very nice man, good for the community. He passed away there last year. But um, he, he really, you know, loved his pints. And they had some celebrity thing where they got celebs, so including TDs from Kilkenny, to drive around a course, you know, with all these cones and everything and do a driving challenge. And then they'd score them, they'd give them two pints. And then they do it again <laughs> to show how significantly worse everybody did afterwards. And everybody else, like whoever they had, Lorraine Keane or I don't know, Samantha Jackson or whatever celebs they had, were like, oh, my God, I can't believe how bad I did, you know, crashing into things. And my TD cousin did significantly better <laughs> after the yeah, two points. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was funny back in the 70s and 80s. I mean, people would, uh, you know, these little boreens, they'd be living quite far from the pubs. There was no way of getting back. back. Yeah. But it was quite socially, accept it was quite it's acceptable. Totally acceptable. To drink and drive. The first form of uh, doping in the Tour de France was uh, alcohol. 
No way. They used wow. to they used to stop at little checkpoints and like down a pint of beer or like have a little bit of champagne. Oh, would that per- not make them worse? <laughs> per- perk them up a bit, you know. <laughs> well, the oh, sugar, maybe the, the, the sugar, the yeah, sugar. Yeah. 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 Wow. Mm. So, so it does. It does. Uh, and do you still? Uh, oh. Do you still get? Uh, I've started. It's all finished. Do you mm-hmm. still? Um, do you ever get those shuddering um, uh, flashbacks of the shite that you got up to yeah. in, the, in the throes of uh, 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 alcoholism? Oh yeah. And is it usually to do with people that you were yeah. riding? Big time. <laughs> people, <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Go people on. that I'm riding. People that I try. So to another. Ride. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Listen. I uh, even now as I'm talking yeah. and I can't even talk about it. Like I, I'm just uh, I'm like you know it's like oh Jesus Christ yeah. it's, it's it's like uh, oh for fuck's sake I know and then you know you know, you know oh oh Jesus yeah like you just because I've just done my my list of all the people that I've harmed and all the oh are you I've doing the steps and, at the yeah, moment yeah 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 have you done them before I tried but I didn't really do them I did, what what half step are you at I did the fifth last night I shouldn't really be breaking anonymity on the podcast maybe this is not suitable well, well what's not su- is it not suitable because you uh, okay it's, it's, it's a level of press radio television so this is a big deal like you know what is <laughs> this podcast oh hey, yeah <laughs> well no we're still uh, in in rehearsal mode but okay. no um so do you do you oh Listen. So yeah, I sorry. Do, can do. I just say this? The steps to people who don't know, there are twelve steps in Alcoholics Anonymous, and um, they are like if if you if you really well if you're very serious. Listen, let me put it to you this way. Um, I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. Like in other words, I burned a lot of bridges. I'm very oppositional. I'm a you know I've, I've fallen out with a lot of people. But if if you if you get to a point in your life where you want to be literally a better version of yourself, a properly good normal you know hello how you doing i'm doing again yeah no sure, look, i, <laughs> I just my dream a, or whatever <laughs> <It's> my dream <laughs> but even the fa- even the fact that normality freaks me out but it, it is a, a really rigorous it's uh, really rigorous fucking, yeah uh, i didn't do a rigorous thing before you know you know no, but no. it's uh, to be quite honest it was a bit too much uh, for me it was too but much it's for but me it, but but i think you can i don't I, th- I think you can do the steps l- like in a way that doesn't have to be insanely rigorous you know you can do it no, yeah, or I don't you, know. I'm just, you don't I'm know. just going from one to the next to the next. Yeah. I, I didn't want to do this. They say it balked. I was balking and balking. Yeah. Like I before doing this step, I was like, do you know what? I could be a nun. Yeah. Maybe like, if I just joined the nuns, I could get away from the world and it'd be really relaxing and be like a sister act. I was seriously thinking. But this. It, in other words, it rids you of the. I would of rather the be a nun than do the work. Okay, I see what you're saying. But it, in other words, so like. Then be rigorously uh, honest. In in, a, on, in in my the way I think the way I am there's a part of my brain that is always. Um, think of that fucking guy. If I fuck, I'm going to say to him. I'm going to say that you know. There's there's do, there's this kind of shit going on in the back of my head all the time it's, it's almost like um if i don't have resentments it's it's almost like i don't exist in fact like today i was walking around and i can't remember who i was thinking about some somebody that i wanted to get back at or whatever and then and then <laughs> right and then but then i then the the whatever intelligent part of myself kind of looked at and, and then i started laughing because yeah. it's uh, it's so small minded yeah. and bitter and it's it gets you nowhere and it's just like I'm going to say to him and he should be he, should, he didn't look at me and I should, whatever. Um, yeah, I know, but it's but but, best, but 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 I think that's that's is, is, it, is that what the, is that the kind of stuff that the twelve step is is to approach that guy and to sort of say listen, da 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 whatever I did I, I'm yeah. sorry and I, I really am sorry and uh, I wish you well and you're not looking for anything back from that action. Yeah, you're just you're just lightening the fucking load in but the brain, you know right? What, right, Aideen? Exactly. Hannah, yeah. I'm talking to Aideen. Okay. Sorry, go on. Well, what I'm just saying, <laughs> sure, I, I never yeah. interrupted one, Dave. You're sorry, just so sorry, good sorry. at taking your turn. You don't even need to go to the guy. You can just pretend that you're talking to him and making a peace. So you don't actually need to face. I the think guy. you do need to go to it. No. Yeah, it depends. I I have to make my list and then s- then I'll see who I need to really do it to and who. Like for instance, I thought I'd have to go and apologize to loads of ex boyfriends and stuff like that, and it's, that mightn't be the case. They mightn't like if I just turn up on their doorstep in America and they're married with a kid and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I've changed, woman. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't like that if. Yeah. Some some Bjor from Ireland is coming over like, oh, you know, so that might be left well enough. And no other things might be left well enough. So I don't know. I'm terrified of it, but I've just been making myself go forward and forward and forward because I haven't been able to manage to be continuously sober, really. 
You know? Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but right. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's good. I feel much better now having done that. I feel much better. You mean uh, uh, writing out a list of... Yeah. Making a list. Is it, is it called a moral top. inventory? Moral, a fearless and thorough moral inventory of myself. Yeah. yeah. And I thought it would be a really rock and roll story of all the cool things that I did. And it was just so boring. Same, another year, another same mistakes, another year, same mistakes, same things I did right, wrong. Right, yeah. right, right, right. It was very boring and sad. And uh, do, do you know something, Aideen? Um, do you know something? Who am I? I'll tell you something, Aideen. Go on. You're so good. <laughs> no, um, um, that's the thing. As you get older, there's not, there's not, it's not that great no, <laughs> getting older, it's right? Not. Fifty-six, but you would hope that you'd be a, get a bit of wisdom. Mm. I mean, that would be the one plus. But if you don't get wisdom, I mean, see, see, that that's why the steps are a, a good thing, a really good thing as well, because yeah. it kind of frees your mind yeah. up a bit. But that's you know, I I don't like because to be old and a, a fucking arsehole is like Jesus. Is 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 there a religious step to the uh, twelve step program? Well, they say um, they say that <laughs> you have to get this higher power. So the higher power can be. They say it's not God. Oh my, pr- it's definitely not God. It's not God. It's, it is God. Well, like, well, well. It, no, but, but, but it doesn't. It's a God of your own under- understanding. So my higher power is, um, okay. So evolution. If I keep drinking and acting badly, I am like a lemming throwing myself into the sea. I am not. Evolution doesn't want me to keep right. drinking and make myself unhealthy. Evolution wants me to progress and help the species, i.e. human beings, help the planet and help myself in the process. Another thing I think is, well, I put a, I had a higher power of drink, drugs and men for years. That was my higher power. And that was completely fake. And, but I felt OK as I had as long as I had a substance in my body. So even so, can I not even if the other higher power is fake, at least it's a healthy fake. You know, but the delicious. amazing the amazing thing is the higher power to me is so obvious. It's like the spirit of the universe, the mm. the, the gravity that holds us down to the earth, the air that we breathe, uh, oxygen. I mean, thank God, uh, you know, you like there isn't a you are whatever land you land on. <laughs> <laughs> the earth is just a dead thing you can claim. Is that the kind of stuff you'd be doing when you're in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, it's adorable, isn't it? No, <laughs> you can imagine some guy you just hooked up with you and you're sitting in the bed but and you just I go like, I know every rock and tree and um, creature. I just have to get. Yeah, it is. He might yeah. actually love it. Yeah, you they like don't. it for no. They like it for the first three weeks, and then they're like, "Stop turning up to my work drunk." Yeah. Like they, you know, they love like that's the way I would go from relationship to relationship. I'm spontaneous. I'm fun. But but I, I really want to talk about the higher yeah. power thing because mm-hmm. it, people think it's a big mystery. Like I, you know, when you think about electricity, prices have gone up, gas prices, so it's like three times more expensive to warm the house. But but like the sun, and what it does for us, and it makes stuff grow. It's it's just there. We mm. take it for granted. But what an amazing fucking thing the sun is. And you don't you don't have to pay a bill. You know, so it's this amazing spirit of the universe. Yes. Like oxygen. Like you know, you talk about, you know, I can't live if living is without Not you. you. But it, but you, if you, if your oxygen was taken away, <laughs> you literally couldn't live. You'd be like, <gasps> "Where's our love song to oxygen?" You see, you see. Yeah. So so that's your higher power without doubt. Um, yeah, that's actually. I, I, at first, I was like, "This guy is a basic bitch," but now, yeah, I, I'm on board with that. Yeah. I'm Sometimes people that. say, uh, like, a way that you could argue that God is real is that um, you can't see the wind, but you still feel it. Yeah. You can't see yeah. God, <laughs> but you can still feel yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's. My mother has a great faith in God. And I that sounds like it's something a pedophile would say to you. <laughs> Now, Christ is the only yeah, no, salvation. <laughs> now you can't see the wind. <laughs> no, but I, I can see and I can feel. I no, can no, see. No, it c- close well. your eyes now. Can <laughs> you feel that? Yeah. Jesus Christ. You see, you can make everything sound like something a paedophile would say if you do when you can't see the wind and start rubbing slowly on someone's arm. Like that's not fair. <laughs> um, but yes, so so the the higher power for yeah. people who don't understand what why for what reason. Do you need higher power within doing the AA thing? Yeah, I don't know. It seems to work because people have tried scientific methods of getting sober and still AA is the most successful. And the higher power is something outside of yourself. So you've been relying on self-will run riot 
is what you've been relying on. I can do this. I can fix this. If I just drink a, dr- a drink an hour, like I try to be like those Danish right. teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I just have one unit of alcohol an hour all day, I'll be fine. I'll just be a little bit tipsy, mixing my drinks, moving countries. I tried everything yeah. myself. Yeah. So the higher power... It's based on the Oxford group, which was a Protestant group that they had. The Protestants are great, aren't they? they? Really, they, they're amazing because they're it's all about so learning a lesson. It's a much better yeah, religion it's a much than better Catholicism. Religion. Much better religion. And Catholicism is so dramatic, though, and like, everybody's going to die, and it's shit. Like, even the difference between Protestant and Catholic directors and cinema. You know, like, something like, I'm going to say Bridesmaids. Like, you know, it's a real fun film. At the end, everybody learns a lesson and we were all better for it. It's a real Protestant <laughs> film. But something like um, Scarface and that, what's your name? Del Toro, the Catholic director. Everybody dies at the end and it makes no sense. I know which film I'd rather watch anyway. Scarface. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Burn in hell. <laughs> So I don't know why I mentioned that, but I was just, it is, it's a good, it's a learning, learning from your mistakes religion, as opposed to like, you are inherently bad. Um, and and also with, with, with t- to properly give up alcohol, the, it, the, in Alcoholics Anonymous, they say the only way a human being gives up, stops drinking, is they have to reach a point where they almost die yeah. or something really fucking bad happens and or you know an accumulation of really shit things and you finally you're at, you're at your last le- you know you just ca- this this can't go on I'm, I'm it's it's so painful i mean to to drink yourself to death i mean it's a very fucking hard, horrifically yeah. painful thing to do and such a sad uh, way to end your life uh, but you so you have to be in that situation where you're 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 totally fucked and they i think they say in the big book that you're like a dying person in bed with your hand outstretched looking for and that is the fantastic thing seriously about alcoholics anonymous when you're very serious about uh stopping drinking it's like you have people who've been in the same position and who've done it successfully and then they're on either side of Mm -hmm. the road that you've you're you're taking and they're cheering you on wishing you well and they do have experience and answers and and also the other thing is like you know you you know the way we have all this negative fucking self talk like I have all, all day he said this to me I said this to him he doesn't look at me he's not acknowledging my fucking exi- whatever yeah that's um, gotten much better for me now um, recently right um so so the brain is going to give you uh, shit ideas it's just going to say Aideen you know. So um, you literally shouldn't use your brain yeah, that's <laughs> to make the, yeah, decisions. Yeah, that's, you're, and you're that, that was a very good thing about yeah, Alcoholics you're Anonymous. You're everything. You, so you need to uh, use, you need to get an external hard yeah. drive to, uh, so you can, so so uh, that's that's what you would need a higher power or a sponsor, yeah. ring somebody up. Yeah, yeah, look, I think I want, you know, no, 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 just, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, wash your dishes yeah, yeah just you know. do the next right yeah, thing yeah. i was like radical wow like yeah that is amazing and stuff like the mor- I, like i don't i always like, like i'm too cool to have a moral code i can do whatever i want and you know everything you know it's all loosey-goosey and then there's certain things like i'd be like oh my god i don't know this guy he wants to get in touch with me and everything and i would tell him my sponsor and she's like um uh, isn't he married? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not meant to be talking to him. Okay, like it's so <laughs> simple. Stay away but from you, you, but you're, but you're quite, you've, you've quite, you're quite a wild thing I- inside you. So it's, it's just you've got a very fierce fucking thing. So it, it surely it's just directing the that wild yeah, force something. of nature into something, <laughs> something um, creative or something. So like that. So how, yeah. how to, how to, how to yeah, grapple? Yeah, figuring that out. How to grapple? Yeah, with that and then s- r- put that energy somewhere. So I don't know. I've given up trying to think about it at the moment and I'm just letting go and seeing what co- happens if I keep doing this method of living. And things are getting better, definitely. Apparently the answer you're looking for is inside you, <gasps> within oh, you. <laughs> yes, we all know everything. <laughs> we just need to uncover <laughs> it. Oh, it's coming out now! <laughs> That's like a joke I would do for my... I'd say there's a lot of men now who, who wouldn't mind getting <laughs> under that fucking dress. Inside. Oh yeah, sorry, I just wanted... Because we, we, we interviewed... It's just a bit of blatant sexism there. Thank you very much in front mm. of my sons. Um, I, I just wanted to say something. I, we interviewed uh, Jason Byrne there the other day, but there was no audio. But I, I suddenly... Well, he's very physical. I can imagine. I just yeah, want yeah. anyway. <laughs> um, you can do his voice. I suddenly, I suddenly had uh, this newfound um, understanding of Will Smith 
and his, uh, you know, slapping Chris Rock. Um, because I thought to myself, um, you know, what if it, I tried to put myself in Will Smith's position and think, what, where would my head need to be for me to do what he did? Mm-hmm. And um, I think he was in a very codependent, very relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith. I, th- I think uh, he must have thought that she was, or maybe still thinks that she is the one. Well, Will Smith, breaking news, she isn't, because you haven't met everyone. But anyway, he he was acting as if, and I think also she may have been, we've talked about this, haven't we? Yes, yes, we have. Fuck, I just realized that. Sorry about this. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, but you, say, you, said, you, said, you said you have a new revelation about oh, uh, the, Well, so. the new revelation is that, wh- so uh, the new, the revelation is that she was saying to him, I don't know if this isn't revel. The revelation is she was saying to him things like, "You're not a real man. You're this, that, and the other." Okay. And so, <laughs> <laughs> that's and so, not new. That's right? Like the oldest. So, so ever. he just he, something you, you you know in that uh, for, something cracked. You know, and he went up, and I guarantee you, this is this is my for certain. They had amazing sex that night himself and Jada Pinkett Smith. Did I say that before? Yes. Ah, oh, fuck it. Okay. So you won <laughs> Jada Pink. He was all, okay. He was all in. Okay. Uh, he, he, uh, he released a film called Emancipation, which I thought that was kind of funny, you know? Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to cut all that shit out because I've said it all before. And, oh. I, and it's, a, it's all early days with that idea. No, I, I d- Hannah, it's funny to think of what the sex was like between Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith but the it- night of the slapping of the Oscar. She's like... You crazy bastard! I can't believe you did that. You've jeopardized your career. And he's like, "Yeah, but I'm a man." Yeah, but that yeah. wasn't a manly thing to do. Like but that was know, that was like the most like pussy shit you could do ever. Like you God, know? it's also, interesting yeah. insight. Yeah, but, but it is because he wouldn't have done that. First of all, he wouldn't have done that if Chris Rock wasn't how sure he is, and less imposing than he is, and. He was laughing initially, so he doesn't have a moral yeah, we talked about standing. This before. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Anyway, yeah. Also, she started giving him side eye, and he was like, "Oh, yeah, better yeah. do something." And he slapped a slap. Uh, g- gives a side eye. What, what does she do? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Side eye. <laughs> you know, side eye. Yeah, like yeah. me, uh, me and Hannah have been doing it uh, ever since we met. Anytime we're with you, we just side eye like <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's really good. You feel so seen. Do you, you, do, so you, seen. do you do you think uh, guys don't pick up on side eye at all? Oh, we do. We d- we know you pick up on the side eye. I do. I don't pick up uh, on fucking side eye. Do you not? I don't think he does. What, oh, you mean so that thing. is that is such a feminine thing to do. Uh, it's so uh, demure. It's just like like that, and it's such a communication between. It's like yeah. it's like uh, the, the the early internet between uh, yeah, women. <laughs> it's just like. Brr, and, yeah. the, uh, uh, and then guys are thinking, oh, look at them looking funny like that. It's just more eyes for the girls to have yeah. something for themselves. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, they'd be looking at it, probably looking at the makeup or something like that. The, we wouldn't pick yeah. up the fucking side eye. No. There'd be some guys who would. Micro you know. There'd be some guys who yeah. would pick up the side eye. <laughs> yeah. They just know about side eye <laughs> because they're just like they're girls. Sisters. Yeah. How old is, is, is there being much of an age David difference between your sister? Yeah. <laughs> Can't, can't. Is there much of an age difference between you and your sister? Um, Mary, uh, yeah, there's about ten years, is it? Okay, or so you didn't really grow up with Mary. No. Who, Mary, it, my yeah. sister? Four, isn't it? No. <laughs> ten years, ten years. Oh, How could this be such this disparity in the answers? You must surely know uh, what age your sister know. is. I don't know. She's what is she? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's. She looks good though for whatever age she is. <laughs> 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 You. <laughs> she's trans she's got the brain of the, bu- the you know um, i'm working on some new material trans, yeah. i actually really like the whole it, it, when i thought about it because this whole social constructed men women it is very fucking boring mm-hmm. i'm sorry it has been like that for too long and i like the idea that people are trying and experimenting and whatever and then i thought the real problem is you know you know this whole genital thing genitals so we should just get rid of them all together <laughs> Get rid of the vaginas, get rid of penises, and just have a pubic yeah. mound like the pubic Action Man, man figure. Like Barbie <laughs> no, just a pubic mound with a little, um, a, you know, like a USB slot. Thing. Yeah. And then we should get rid of everyone as well. And then the because Barbara, Barbara, Barbara No, Nancy. we should just have one <laughs> human experiencing everything for all of us in one big giant brain and should just be who lives forever. And that's it. Just oh, one person. Okay, oh, just I'll one person. Who's that's my that new person? theory. Yeah, Thank that's you. <laughs> We're going to go to my local TD and ask. Like Elon Musk. That. 
Yeah, he oh. could do it. He just one one zero zero one 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 zero zero zero. No penis, no vagina. I am not here. <laughs> Living forever. So are we all gonna be like this? No, oh. Oh, no. It's only gonna we're gonna oh, have just, just gonna, gonna have, have one, one person. Yeah, oh, we're, we're gonna, gonna have go a, to him. Well, to I mean, you're talking everything. over me. I have an idea. Well, I, just wanna I mean, know how can? No wonder details. you're single. Uh, yeah, I know. Hi, galore. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'll do slow mo side eye. And that's why we're not together. <laughs> so this part of the show you're gonna talk about some relationship, could be a friendship, could be a romantic relationship, could be a relationship with yourself. What is it that you why you're not together? Okay. So I've had I haven't been single since my first holy communion. And um that's not a good thing. Like it's hard with relationships because the more you have, the more experience you have. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're better at them, does it? You know, so I'm going to pick one, hopefully, where the person isn't listening or hasn't any access to listening. So uh, the old. you can change the name. You don't need to. Really yeah, but st- yeah, we don't even know to say the name. So. Right. So in my <laughs> dark, dark drinking days, I um, decided that <laughs> I wanted money yeah. and I went on one of those sh- those websites where rich older men you know kind of select and reject younger women oh very good yeah LinkedIn what, what is that <laughs> what, 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 no it was what sugar it, daddy it, website oh should I have to go on that uh, that one you need to yeah. read the sugar so daddy yeah are you do you have that much sugar no Dave? no okay no he be the yeah, one who's yeah. looking yeah. for <laughs> yeah you need to find an older woman that wants to patronize you a 90 year old yeah. woman. yeah <laughs> how old you could be like a sugar Jane daddy Fonda. but the, the girl will have like a missing arm or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they call them salt daddies in the sugar daddy world is when the sugar daddy don't got no money and he leads them on into thinking he does mm. and then mm. there's they're stung it's there's a whole world of it and so I met this man and he was French. Mm. So he, 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 lit, he had the most functional attitude to relationships that I had ever come across. So he literally interviewed for me for the, perp- for the post of mistress. And for that, so Where I did you meet him? On the internet. We went to a hotel in somewhere nice to have a coffee. What do you mean? It was on the internet. What? You, uh, um, I didn't explain this on a sugar daddy website. Oh yeah. So these are these. You websites. said you went to a hotel. You said yeah, you met on the. Yeah, because then afterwards. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, but I you're jumping to... ahead. You, you, oh, you, you, it's, you it's dumb obvious. bastard. Okay. I'm. Sp- the rope is going, and you're not jumping into my skipping rope rhythm. That's He's what's getting going bored. On. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Go on. Sorry. Just concentrate. Yeah. yeah just go on. Okay. Yeah. So this. So these websites basically, they 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 pitch them, and apparently five percent of girls in university are in them. Now I was a bit old. Like I was in my late twenties, early thirties, getting onto this. You know, and so I had to go for a much older kind of guy, and but I was I was drinking, and it just seemed like an easier thing to do. So I met this guy. You're a, you're you're a whore for the drink. I'm a whore for everything. Yeah, uh, it makes <laughs> me a whore for everything. And we met up, and he was speaking French, and I've a bit of French, but I didn't have enough to really understand that he was said he was married. But you know, I ignored that. It was convenient for me. Well, I think he didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to understand. Exactly right. Um, I'm definitely a fault here, and. He, uh, but I, but then, uh, but I, whatever, I, I met him once and then I decided, no, I didn't want to, to do it. And then, but he kept, he was persistent. He emailed me and stuff. And then something said to me, oh, just go and visit him. And I went to his house. Like, what a mistake to make. Like, you know, get out of the hot tub, Aideen. You know, you're leading, you, this is not going to go well. So he made me a lovely Where? dinner. It was in a nice, very, very posh Where? part. Very posh part of the Paris. No, of Dublin. I thought he was French. He was, but French oh. people live here. I, I wouldn't, yeah. Jack, what the <laughs> fuck am I not getting, Jack? Was okay. there a side eye going on that I didn't see? Right, there okay, was listen, <laughs> hang on a second. Oh, okay. I get it. Sorry. In other words, so you're, guy, cu- you're, you're hiding this guy's thing and you're calling it different national. No, not he was French. He is French. He will always be French. Right. He but he's not living in France. He's not low. He was a ta- he had was a super rich. He was actually living in England, but he was super rich, so he had to move to Ireland for tax reasons. Gotcha. Right. That's what the super rich do. Okay. Okay. And so you met him. Sorry. So okay. he needed a mistress, gotcha. and he would say, when a man marries his mistress, he creates a vacancy. 
so that that was his way of saying you're never going to marry me but I didn't want to marry him like I was actively seeking out somebody that I couldn't have really too much of a connection with because at the time I was so fucked were you genuinely just looking for somebody to pay for booze Bit, I was, yeah, a bit of booze and I could stay here. This beautiful place, I could stay there. It was the summertime. I was able to write in the daytime yeah. and do a bit and he would listen to Radio Classique Francais. And you'd have to do a bit of this. Look, look, you'd little. have to do a bit of this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah, problem. Yeah, no problem. I, you see, the thing is, I have a gift. I'd kind of gotten to the stage where I'd been in so many bad situations, drunk and had sex with so many dubious people. And I got to the stage where I was able to separate my mind from my body. So when this was happening, I could just kind of sing a song or like think about, you know, <laughs> oh, think, yeah, think about things, think about... <laughs> wait a second, wait a second, wait, just, yeah. just slow down here. Yeah. I think it's, sorry, I think it is very funny. There's, there's a lot of uh, older guys who may be watching this thinking, hmm, there's hope for me yet. Yeah, so see, that's what you have to look forward to, some very damaged younger yeah, women. Yeah, damaged young women. <laughs> no, no, so so you're saying that you could, dis you could, could dis disassociate. Yeah, so I could, like, for, you know, I'll tell you what we, we did sp say um first uh, first aid in school and when you're giving people chest compressions you go ha 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 staying alive staying alive if you think of that song when you're giving a blowjob it's a perfect <laughs> rhythm right and it distracts you and you can just you could do a round of the song I had all these kind of tricks because I mean I wasn't at this stage I was trying to get sober I was not sober sometimes so it was sometimes I would be have to be sober doing this <laughs> And um, I just, I just, I just became so just out of touch with my body, so out of touch with my. Sorry, morals. I think that's very funny that uh, you, you. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. So, in other words, bringing somebody chest compressions. So you, you, you should have online courses. Ha you know, for gold diggers yeah. or whatever. Have to bring them alive. So the problem <laughs> is, of course, giving a blowjob so to yeah, a much can... older man, it's disgusting. And these are the techniques that you can employ. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Disassociate the song. There's a lot yeah. of them. And... Um, it was, so, yeah, no, you'd always, you know, I'd always have to have no perfume on, no, no jewellery in case anything got lost. If I had a body lotion on, he'd be really, take a shower because the wife would be coming over the weekend. Ah. So that's another tip as well. Gold digger tip, you know, and also he was very happy that I was blonde because the cleaning lady was blonde. So if there's any hairs, he could be like, oh, it's. Wow. Cleaning lady. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So he, w I've never met somebody that was so like, this is the way I am. I need this. How, how old was he? He was, he, when I first met him, he was like, guess mon age, guess. Uh, and I was like, and I said, I'm going to go way lower because that's obviously what he yeah. wants. What is it? Sorry, there yes. There he is barking yes. outside. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And so he, I said, I guess 53, thinking I was giving him a really flattering number. And he's like, how did you know? He was really insulted. So, yeah, he was he was a good bit older than me. But I lied about my age as well. I told him I was five years younger. You know? <laughs> Sorry, how old was he? He was 53. And 53? 53. So That's it's not, not that old. I know, I know, I know. But he used to wear cardigans and not in an ironic way. Right. You know, he wasn't like a cool 53-year-old like you or whatever you age you are, 57. 56. 56, 57, three f days. Um, oh, you know, yeah, 50, yeah, I'm nearly 57. Jesus yeah, Christ. He, oh was, fucking he would mighty. definitely not have well, a Well, when I say bag. I'm 57, girls, I just want you to know that I'm 57. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, he would. <laughs> like he had shoehorns plenty and stuff like that. Do you have a shoehorn? <laughs> that does sound sexual now yeah it is I thought it was like what's this do you, have, yeah, do you ever look at a shoe and get the horn what <laughs> that's called a shoe horn <laughs> and so he yeah he um, and I would go over to the house three times a week and he would make me dinner and we would watch a film or we'd go to the theatre a lot and then I remember we went to the opera and like opera Ireland they get the costumes from pennies like it's just so embarrassing cheap. it's yeah. kind of embarrassing but it was mm. really good as well and and this is rich people they always think things happen to them by can I, and I, and, but it, even the whole idea of a, a French guy taking his mistress to the fucking opera I mean talk about uh, what's that um, w w with Cher that that uh, the moon, moon moonstruck that, yeah, and I mean, it's such a cliche. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But they, yeah, rich people always think things are a coincidence. So when we went to the opera, like how often is the Apelia saint Melisande on in Dublin? The what? Uh, it's, a, it's a Debussy opera. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, no, you, you, you threw it out there like what a, a wanker alert. <laughs> Fucking I hell. I, I have notions. I've got yeah, notions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jules Vollevant. What a wanker. 
<laughs> I brought him to the yeah, snapper yeah. once, right? Because I was like, it's my turn to pick, yeah. even though you're paying. We went to the snapper <laughs> in the gate theater. And the snapper was great. But they took out, you know, the, in the way in snapper when she falls on the car. And he basically it's date rape. It's rape now considered. But in the 90s, it was a big laugh. Yeah. So they took that scene out of the snapper. But that's really confusing. Because then you don't know why mm. she's embarrassed or what happened or anything. And he was asking me, was Sharon in love with Mr. Bourges? He just didn't have a clue. But everyone in, this, in the theatre knew because we knew the Anyway, so listen, well. was the... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, what, what, is, is there a point to There's that? There's no point to that. There no, go on. Point uh, I love the way... I'm just trying to show how I'm keeping it real. It's not all Penny and Melisande. It's sometimes I go to the snapper as well. Um, I'm <laughs> oh, normal, Jesus, I'm look, at you, look at you playing the role of victim there. Uh, so so <laughs> did, did, he give, did he give you loads of money? Yeah, so he gave me money. But we were... I'll what do you mean he gave you loads of money I'll, I'll, we were at the opera right we were at it and it was beautiful and um Go and on. then he just went <gasps> and he got really freaked out and he was like oh my god because what a coincidence what hazard they're, they're, my neighbors are here and they have met my wife and i'm like of course it's not a coincidence of course you know how yeah, many rich okay, people okay. Go to the, the opera and he was like you will have to sit away from me for the whole thing yeah and i was like they will just think we are friends and he said i would never be friends with you <laughs> right 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 and at that stage i was like yeah he wouldn't be would he but in fairness to him, he was... He Did you expect a big laugh when you said that? Yeah, not really. No, it's... Okay, go on, listen. So did he... Did he... <laughs> did he... Did he... Did he... <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't say that to the guests, David. <laughs> No, you have to. I bet she didn't say that to Burn. I no, bet she no, didn't, I didn't say that. You let him say whatever he yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did he... Did he... Did he <laughs> Oh, shut up. I'd just like to report that I'm actively 18. active side eye. Active side eye. 18. I'm even kind of 18. Laughing. And by the way, I, my, we, we could, like, I know Aideen well. <laughs> And there's tons of these stories, but listen, did he give? Yeah, you, yeah, did he yeah. give you? Did he give you money? Yeah. So the standard allowance for is one thousand five hundred a month, and they pay for everything you do. Oh, I mean, it was like it that. was all pre, it was all pre-booked and all that kind of all stuff. All pre-booked, yeah. So how much were you getting a month? Okay, d did I not just say that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the standard allowance one thousand five hundred a month. And I I have a question: Is there uh, an agency taking commission? No, but that's a oh. good question. I've Hopefully got a business idea. Yeah, 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 let's talk about it afterwards. This guy is on the ball. Because mm. I've got all the experience. And so wait a second, are you saying I could go my first customer. Yeah. <laughs> are you saying, I, yeah, 1,500 quid a month. I mean, that's quite good, isn't it's it? It's good if you're and working full you, time. And what was, uh, was the sex good? No. <laughs> it was fine. It but was Aideen wasn't it there for sex. Was it? Was it no. dis? I know she wasn't, but it, it was a disassociative kind it, of thing. It wasn't so. It wasn't like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 you oh, oh. It was. It was grand, you know, <laughs> and um, and and at times, you know, was at times I thought I really liked him, but I was just convincing myself. Yeah. You know, mm. I was trying to make this shoe. And is that website still exist? I think it does. Yeah. What's it called? <laughs> seeking Sugar Daddy. it's actually called seeking arrangements and they advertise that like you this you know they're these nice gentlemen they retire they're successful and they want to share their wisdom but just with attractive young women so if you're an attractive young woman specifically an attractive young woman you should meet one of these men and then a lot of girls a lot of some of my Jesus friends have done Christ. it and they're all shocked oh my god he just wants to have sex with me and like yeah that's what it is oh do you um, mean they some pitch it so, so as it's uh, just a kind of this man mm, will help you with your it. business you can just go for dinner with him all he wants is the company but it's not <laughs> you know <laughs> this man will help you with your business <laughs> yeah. okay let's, let me let me try and and I was okay. old for it but let, I went for the personality let me try okay I, I'm, I'm gonna I, I, okay yeah. let's say it's uh, what's the thing called business arrangements seeking arrangements seeking yeah. arrangements <laughs> okay <laughs> so I've, I've, I'm, yeah. I'm the guy and this yeah. is our first okay. meeting okay okay um, will I be French or yeah. you be you be, you know you should be a, 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 a black rock bollocks the kind of that's a good persona for you how are you on uh, lovely to meet you lovely to meet you hello yeah yeah okay, this is my posture yeah oh, yeah hello yeah nice one <laughs> so how are things yeah it's 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 nice I'm a bit nervous now I have to be honest <laughs> is this your first time it um, is yeah 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 I mean well and then I just don't tell how experienced I'm. I've had two very good arrangements and it's been excellent. And they've just ended naturally. Lies. Um, so tell me, what are you hoping to get out of this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what am I hoping to get? Well, I'm just looking for uh, companionship. You know what I mean? Somebody to hang out with. Because, uh, you know, I, the business is going great. <laughs> but... Um, 
was I, great. I, I, you know, I just, <laughs> uh, business has grown great. Uh, but, you know, it'd be good to hang out with, you know, it's a different way of meeting someone. And so, yeah. <laughs> Would you have a drink? Um, Will you have a pint? I don't drink, but just because I don't drink doesn't mean I can't make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, so usually, I feel like you're not as into it as me. Usually the man knows what he wants. He wants a, to have sex with a girl. And he's, they're not usually nervous. They, they know what they want. But basically, it's a prostitution um, game. It's sex worker. But the disadvantage of a sex worker is... Well, you can't say prostitution anymore. You can, but it, people don't seem to like it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to if in doubt leave it out that's what I say so speaking so it, it, the, the advantage of having the, the, the sugar baby is that you don't have to use contraception a lot of the time that's what they like they also they do some of them are lonely they want to what do you mean you don't have to use contraception well, you're in a relationship, so you don't... With a prostitute, with a sex worker, you have oh, to use contraception. Oh, oh, and uh, Irish men are allergic to condoms. They hate them. They, they, they don't have any concept of them. It's, it's it, Telling an Irish man to wear a condom during sex is like telling him to put a bin liner over his whole body. It seems to be. It's traumatising for them. Foreigners, not so much. They're all right with it. So that's one of the advantages. And also, they get to have a company. Like, I did it with one man, and I just had to go to work, too, because he just wanted confidence, and he wanted to be with a woman mm. there. And uh, I was with him, but I was so much taller than him. And then, like, <laughs> I was like... But do you, is there something like about so it, Aideen? I, I think... Is him, Why are you with Danny DeVito over there? Wah, 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 wah. So there's, <laughs> is there something about it, though, Aideen, that the, it's it's sort of thrilling, the madness yeah, of the whole thing? Yeah, Oh, it's so true. I loved the madness of it. I loved going... It was so outside of... Um, of society like i mean i would go to i would go to work and i would earn whatever amount for my day's work and then i would go to a hotel meet a man and get 200 quid for doing you know an hour, three fourths <laughs> of an hour's work you know <laughs> and that was a bit of a thrill to me yeah yeah mm -hmm. a yeah bit of a thrill yeah yeah and i was like did you ever think about doing only fans no no i don't think i'd be i'm not really oh, i need you see i'm a per i don't think my looks alone are enough i need to have the personality as well you know the only fans <laughs> mightn't communicate my Chattiness. I want to be there, like taking off my clothes and going. Uh, and, and yeah, apparently, anyway, only fans only a, a small amount of people actually make money. I'd on say them. so. Yeah, I mean, I think only fans is great because it empowers women to. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I think. I don't know. I don't know. You know, th those kind of phrases like it empowers women. Where do we get that from? Who says that? Maybe the people that own only fans <laughs> does it really well i think it, it empowers an individual doesn't it that's true that's it, empowers it empowers an individual it, do, it doesn't empower good. women in general yeah. no maybe. it doesn't actually i mean so <laughs> some people true. would say it does but uh, yeah. i don't know about that no it, it doesn't really mm. and am i i mean it's like sleeping with a married man it's not like i'm i'm harming the wife she doesn't know about it so yeah, and it's time away for his family has away from him and everything like that and I used to justify it and he was so cold about it but it's not exactly adding to the stream of life it's not like mm. I'm doing charity work in a, sh in a church it's it was like I you know it was I, I was actively seeking out married men because I thought they weren't going to hassle me they're not going to want too much mm. you know it was I was I was kind of warped well I, I don't know about I, I think it makes sense. Can, uh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I just can I just take a, a quick break for a piss break and then we'll finish yeah. up. So you can have a wish list on this website seeking arrangements and your wish list will have like things that you want like a Cartier necklace or a whatever oh bag. God. And this girl said that this guy bought her um, the necklace and that was it. She just never met up with him. But I think that he sent it to her. He sent it to her. Yeah, by post. They he just ordered. I don't know how what it was. An Amazon wish list. So you just order it, and the, her address is Hannah's, there. Hannah's somewhere. thinking because Hannah, Hannah, Hannah wants a, a Cartier. I want a Cartier. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, it costs twenty five thousand euro. About forty thousand euro. Yeah, this is the Finn Dom thing. I, th th so these women. The what Dom? Finn Dom. Finn. Financial domination. Oh. It's when a woman dominates a man by asking for money and gifts. Yeah. And they might not oh even have sex God. with them. I know. But, uh, but certainly, I, I mean, certainly um, as a socially constructed narrative of man, old fashioned type of, I, I love, uh, you know, if I'm out on a date paying for everything and seeing, uh, and I love to, I like that. And see, it, like that and seeing well? the woman enjoying the fact that, you know, I'm paying for everything. 
but I mean, uh, that's another level, though. Yeah. Where you're paying paying for. Although I don't know. Yeah, no. It's kind of fetish, isn't it? Or it's a fe- oh, it's definitely a fetish, but that's the fetish that we could really. Get you s- from you from sound like you sound like Andrew Tate right now, David. <laughs> no, but I mean, you're. To- I'm talking about just, b- b- you know, being in a relationship and paying for the yeah. person, but woman. But um, you were to- you were talking about. Different. Actually, yeah, it's yeah. a different. We'll have to Google that now, lads. Um, go on there, lads. To do a bit of a Google on the Elf Pin Dom, because I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is, but it's one of those things. I'm like, what? Well, it seems like selling your pictures of your feet. It's to do with shame, for sure. Yeah. You know, but like the guys get off providing the money. Mm. Like they, they. Oh, I'm Where providing. To so. Yeah. Where to <laughs> find them? Yeah, it's funny. the The human mind can just find. Uh, it can get off on pretty much a- any anything. You wouldn't crash a car into me house, would you? That really turns, turns me, me on. on. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I have to say, uh, Aideen, uh, you know, thank you very much for uh, being on this uh, podcast. I think you're our third guest, and um, I always enjoy your company and anytime i'm at a comedy club i'm always glad when you're oh, on and the same because we get on very well Me and too. if there's anybody uh watching this you you would really enjoy aiding's comedy it's very funny it can be very dark and twisted and self-deprecating and it's right up my strassa <laughs> and um <laughs> you know i'm just glad that you're uh, on the on the circuit here and yeah, I think you're very funny and you should be much bigger than you are. Uh, well, you know, I put a barrier. The alcohol was a big barrier to me now. Not yes. turning up to drink, uh, not turning up to gigs drunk and blah, mm. blah, blah. Like I'm getting back bit by bit by bit incrementally now. I'm yeah. getting better gigs in the UK, working hard, you know. Yeah. And I don't have the need now to be like, I need to do it now. Yeah. You know, it's that's I've got a great peace of mind lately where I'm like, let it go. Is that as a result? Oh, go. Jesus. <laughs> Oh dear! I won't. Sorry, it's so adorable. <laughs> just actually, a bit actually, the two, the two of uh, Hannah, Hannah, it. Hannah is even a worse singer than you are. I think. <laughs> oh, what I'm song do you, can you both sing? Oh, let's no, sing. I'm, well, not, I'm, I'm the worst. St- do you sing no, stars no. shining I've up above? I've already done it. Make mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. kisses seem to whisper, I love She's you while day. I'm alone and blue as can be. Dream a little dream of me. How is that bad, David? We're amazing. It sounds like nails scraping against a window. I'm sure there'll be a man who loves it. Yeah, is there any man out there who can pay me for my <laughs> nails scraping against a window singing? Um, I'd be happy to do that. It's like it'll uh, for 50p. <laughs> uh, 50 cent each, each time. Thank you. But I guess, yeah, th- a certain men of a certain vintage, they get to a point and they just think, fuck it, I couldn't be honest you know going out and, and trying to meet people yeah uh, it, it, i can outsource that so i go yeah. on a website and if it, it can be it possibly can work in a way maybe yeah. if, if you get the right guy or it, the right it you could. know yeah there's i mean there's this, i, I mean because it's a value for value yeah. thing what i found with the very 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 wealthy people is that they find it hard to trust anybody because they're so wealthy, they don't know who's on the make, who's they're working for, who might do it. So it's simpler for them if everybody in their lives were paid. So mm. their friend is a staff person. Another person is somebody they've given money to that they, you know, they, every, everybody in their life, uh, even their kids, everything has got is getting money from them. And they keep they that's what they find easier. It's more relaxing. They know what level they're on. So mm. Mm. I don't know. I've never been a millionaire, multi-millionaire. I've never <laughs> been a high worth individual, a high worth net individual. That's what they call it. If you've got more than a million, if you've got a million pounds in, in uh, that's not including your home that you own. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. No, that's uh, triggering for you. Um, you're a high <laughs> net worth individual and you have other high net worth individual problems, apparently. What were you going to, you look like you want to say something, Jack. I was just saying um, uh, to circle back to the Findom. Um, <laughs> apparently, it's uh, typically uh, th- uh, it's it's for men under the age of thirty five. There are some older men into it as well, but it's it's typically okay. men. This is from uh, a oh, submissive man. <laughs> so, w- so what is financial dominance? It's like uh, g- God. Y- you have to label fucking everything. You know, just just shut up and pay for dinner, and you don't you don't have to be. But this is different. They want to pay now. for my Cartier watch. Yeah, this is like women might want money to be thrown at them or something. I don't know what happened because fetishes yeah. are generally 
Like if, for instance, somebody says spanking, that's an easy one to see. You're a child, your hot babysitter was like, you're being naughty. And they're like, whoa. And now they're into that. Um, or people sure. who are into pain, like somebody might have been in hospital when they're young and might have to associate sexual feelings with with having a really bad illness. And then they're into pain while during having sex. But I don't know how the money ones come in or, you know, these, these people who are attracted to buildings or I don't know how they come about. I imagine the financial thing is that a lot of pe- a lot of men uh, associate money with being able to uh, able to attract a woman, right? Ah. So if they yeah. if they get you are to are wise p- beyond your years, <laughs> young Max Savage Andrews. But if they get to a certain stage of finan- financial freedom or wealth, and they still can't really attract a mate that they want, then they'll go over to this this yeah. side. Good, you know yeah. maybe maybe that's it that makes sense it does yeah because men that's the promise that it's given to men if you will work yeah. hard and you do well women will be flocking towards you it's not always the case though and it's not always the case that you get a woman that you're you're into okay yeah, yeah, yeah. but but in general men are uh, you know um according to their financial status you know mm-hmm. that that's how they operate and women about their age and yeah, and ability looks, to procreate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, men are never jealous of, of each other's looks, really. No, I don't think. But it's yeah, that's all about the hierarchies of power. Definitely, like you wouldn't be like, oh my god, um, like I'm so self conscious because Aiden Bishop is so handsome. What do you do? <laughs> like, I miss Aiden, Aiden Bishop. Yeah. I miss Aiden, him as well. Aiden, Aiden Bishop where uh, are you? R- ran uh, the comedy club in the international bar yeah. uh, for uh, God, h- 12, 10 years. About that, yeah. All the time I was doing comedy anyway, so that's at least mm. 10 years. Come back, Aiden, all is forgiven. Um, well, there we have it. Oh, do we want to do uh, open the cage or have we got anything, Jack, Daniel? Uh, yeah, the, if you want. Yeah, okay, just quickly, let's do it. Open the cage. So here we have some. It may not be. Q R S D U V. We have some important trivia about Nicolas Cage. Okay, Daniel, check. So um, there was this one time where he was the victim of a massive comic book heist. So like he bought a really expensive comic uh, like one of the originals and then somebody stole it from his house and it was worth like over a million Nicholas Cage Nick do you call him Nicholas or Nick well uh, Nicholas Cage I'm, I'm on personal terms with him so I <laughs> okay call him, uh, he's Nick. always getting himself into problems where he buys something <gasps> and it's either illegal or either you know he's always in, he gets yeah, he flaunts the cash yeah yeah he throws the cash around okay I, 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 I that wasn't yeah okay okay a conspiracy corner Jack <laughs> Go on, Jack. A conspiracy corner. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? Uh, I've got a little. I've got a. It's called the Passover plot. <laughs> Go on. So the Passover plot. The, the Passover plot. The Passover plot. The Passover plot. Okay. It's, uh, is it to do with it's Israel? It's basically that uh, Jesus never actually died. He was given like a, a like strong ketamine Vinegar. from his mates, the disciples or whatever, like some sort of relaxant so for three days he didn't he, he just wasn't moving and then they revived him but he would he never actually died mm. and he was never crucified he lived on and his bloodline moved on but the vatican and the pope don't want this to come out because that would mean that they are not the highest power in christianity oh. because if the bloodline of jesus is still alive and well then they would be the most important things. And apparently that bloodline went on to become uh, a line of warrior kings called the Merovingians, who were kings of France and stuff like that. And then they went on to uh, open up orders like the Knights Templar. Temple. Ah. Yeah, I'm definitely... Yeah. I'm, I'm I want that. I'm All my shares in the crucifix companies, I want <laughs> to keep good. So please. It's so funny. I'm so obviously in the bloodline of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I've always felt that. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's why I burn bridges. He's not the <laughs> he's not the savior, clearly. Then 
He is the damnation. <laughs> yeah. But it's a great, it's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's interesting. But I the the saw nights a BBC documentary about this. Yes. So it's not like oh yeah, sorry. It's it's so he so he did shag Mary Magdalene, of essentially, course he did. and that's where the bloodline went. But the Knights Templar were an evil, evil order, you know. Mary Magdalene, geez, I'd love what to ride Mary Magdalene. Me yeah, I just me said, too. Me too. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but just I, anyone famous, like I'd love to just for the story. But you know, it would be hard to knit it into my um stand up and make myself not seem crazy. Did um did you were you ever in the Knights of Columbanus? No. Okay. Or your dad? I no, I have no idea. <laughs> um, well, Templar. well, uh, I I think that's pretty much it, uh, folks. Um, we've done uh, as much as we can. And um, I c thank you very much, very Aideen welcome. McQueen. Keep your eyes open for Aideen. And keep your and eyes you to the side <laughs> for Dave. <laughs> thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Daniel. Let's play that getting out music. Thank you very much. I love and fade you. us out, Daniel. Do you know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? Like, yeah. In the